You're now tuned in to Behind the Afro Mic. Behind the Afro Mic talks to people from all walks of life. Behind the Afro Mic is brought to you by 105.3 Afro FM, your infotainment station. of developmental state has become the most advocated ideology at the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa or simply known as UNECA. But first of all, is this a new ideology or just an old idea branded as a new? How would Western lenders like IMF and other institutions view it? Does the concept go hand in hand with democracy? With all these questions in my mind, I went down to the ECA for an answer. Governance and Public Administration Division Director at the ECA, Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, has shared with me his views on the issue. Hoping that you'd enjoy this insightful and entertaining interview, I'm your host, and producer Samson Tasfai. Okay, uh, Mr. Abdullah Hamdok, welcome to Behind the Afro Mic. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me for this mm -hmm. useful channel. I've been listening to your programs and I'm quite impressed with the type of works and interviews you are, you are conducting. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for that uh, compliment and uh, I have accepted it on behalf of Afro FM. So the thing is like at now in ECA there's a trend that I'm observing and ECA is being vocal, vocal I can say, in promoting the concept of development state. Is this a real new idea or you're just rebranding the old idea into as a new? The developmental state is definitely, as you said, is not a new idea. There are traces of developmental state in African history right after independence. Mm -hmm. Most of the African states, just in the era after independence in the 60s or so, you could by and large call them developmental state. Mm -hmm. But they lack then the prerequisite for building a truly effective and efficient developmental state. The revival mm -hmm. of the role of the state and the ECA in trying to put in the development agenda the issue of the role of the state in the development process is by and large motivated by the development record of the last 30 to 40 years. Mm -hmm. The failure of what you could call Washington consensus in trying to push the state completely out of the domain in trying to propagate and theorize and implement issues of lean, mean, and all the reforms that we talked about, bringing in market and thinking that the solution of Africa development challenges lies in the market alone. ECA, in trying to revive the issue of developmental state, is not saying now we scrap the market and we go whole cell state. We're saying we need a balanced approach to this. Mm -hmm. There are market failures need to be addressed, but also there is a very central important role for the state in guiding the development process. Mm -hmm. We've seen it in recent experiences of the Southeast Asia model. It's exactly telling us this. If you look at South Korea, if you look at Taiwan, look at Malaysia, look at even China, 
and all those countries that have developed in the recent past, the state played a very central role in this, in terms of being visionary, in terms of uh, being guided by meticulous, serious planning processes, defining a vision for the country and mm -hmm. saying we would like to be there in 20 years, in 30 years, in 50 years. If Microsoft mm -hmm. is today planning where they want to be in the market for the next 50 years, why not for our governments and for our countries in this continent? So mm -hmm. the revival of this, and I think one thing also helped and aided this is we, I, I would like to believe we live in post two eras, post G8 and post Washington consensus. The mm -hmm. global financial and economic crisis is telling mm -hmm. us exactly that, mm -hmm. that there is a need to revisit the role of the state in the development process. Mm -hmm. We live to see banks nationalized, we live to see all this in, in the West. So okay. I think there is a revival mm -hmm. of the role of the state. You just mentioned the West, mm. and uh, I think your academic career uh, also was in UK, somehow, somewhere, mm. down the line. But do you think that they will accept or buy the developmental state idea in the West, maybe? So what are their points for arguing that state intervention will not be good? Well, look, I think let us start by the, the first part of your question. Mm -hmm. In, in them accepting the, the developmental state concept. Mm -hmm. You know, this continent has subjected for a very long period of time to all kinds of borrowed issues, borrowed thinking, borrowed money, borrowed mm -hmm. everything. Even when we were defining the things that are serious in charging our future, somebody else designed it for us. It is high time for this continent to take charge of its destiny and sit firm in the driver's seat and begin to define for itself what is good for it and how it sees itself and its place in the global mm -hmm. development community. We live in a world which is very well interconnected and interrelated. We cannot live in isolation in it, but when it comes to our destiny, we don't want somebody else to define it for us. Okay. We define it, but together with our partners, when we want their help, it has to come at our own terms, at our mm -hmm. own understanding and all that. Mm -hmm. And that is how I see it. Okay. That's part of the plan of ECA because ECA is advocating for the concept of developmental state, you know, to gear up the debate one level up higher. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. It is it's precisely that. Mm -hmm. And it is because we think that a developmental state is mm -hmm. a state that will definitely uh, address the development challenges of this continent, be it economic, political, social, um, regional integration issues, all the development issues. The most capable state that can chart a path for this is a developmental state. Mm -hmm. yeah state that work and all this okay exactly mm. now with the concept of uh, you know putting your eye directly into the government means that from the literally understanding is that private sector will play a lesser lesser role than it used to be or at least not in the west model of how private sector play development so what do you think will be private sectors role in this, in the developmental state concept? Private sector will have a very serious role to play in this. But a minor one? No, a central one. Mm -hmm. We're saying the developmental state is guiding the development process. But there are very integral, serious actors to this. Non-state mm -hmm. actors, we can call them civil society, mm -hmm. but also the private sector. A developmental state would define a very serious role for the private sector. We wanted a private sector that is guided and managed not by rent-seeking behavior mm -hmm. and accumulation at the expense of the development of this continent. Okay. A development state will guide productive activities of private sector. Mm -hmm. Private sector that would venture into industry, will work in creating un uh, employment, will generate value added in this continent, and it has a very central role to play in this. Mm -hmm. We don't want a parasitic rent-seeking private sector that has no contribution to development. That is the role of the private sector within a developmental state.